Hi, happy Friday. Good morning. Are you ready for calendar? Here we go. Get your clappers ready. We're starting. Gonna get our music on. It takes a minute. Get ready. Take your breath. Get your shoulders back. Here we go. today I hope you feel happy arms up really fast go 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 windshield wipers swish 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 I heard on the weather it might rain wouldn't that be fun to see a little rain outside crisscross your body good one arm up one arm down thanks for following good job you woke up with a smile today. Thanks for coming to YouTube on this Friday. Please take out your pianos. Here we go. January, February, March, and April, May. We're looking for this month. August, September, October, our second language, Espanol. Please put on your sombreros. Sit up with your back straight, get your shoulders back, you know, like we do. Ready to go. on your clickers. I'm going to shut the music off. All right. Let's 
here we go. Days of the week. 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 There is Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Good. Okay, everybody. What month are we in? October. Please spell capital. Good. O C T O B E R. October 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th. Today, let's move you down a little bit. Today is Friday, October 9th, 2020. All right, so that's right. You know yesterday was Thursday, we were together. Today is Friday. Tomorrow will be Saturday. Is there school on Saturday? Nope. Is there school on Sunday? Nope. Is there school on Monday? Yes, but it's a little teeny tiny bit. It's a very small piece of school, huh? Okay, let's take a look real quick about how many days we've been in school. And I just can't even believe this when I look at this today. Today, we have been in school for 42 days. Oh my goodness. So we're gonna count our straws. Remember, these are groups of 10, and these are one, so we start with 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42. We have been in school for 42 days. It's unbelievable to me, just unbelievable. Okay, we are going to look right here for our lesson our um, morning meeting today. Everybody say good morning. Good morning. Good. All right. October 9th, 2020. Dear class, happy Friday. We will learn the letter go today. Word, word, go, not letter. Word, sorry, go today. Love, Mrs. Miramontes. Good. We're gonna learn the word. G-O, go, G-O, go. How do you spell it? G-O, go. Go, 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 go. Okay, all right, I have something for you here. Before we do this, we're gonna do apple tree. Let me get this right though. Okay, I'll squish down here. How's that? Okay, let's do apple tree first. Ready, go. Way up high in the apple tree, two little apples smile at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came the apples, mm, were they good. You know that one, I know you like that one the best. Okay, this is all about the season of fall. Yes, the season of fall, that's what season we're in. And it's starting to feel like fall weather, which I am just loving. A fall of colors. Your turn. You're going to see some sight words that you know. Because we're so smart. Love it. Okay. My turn, your turn. I get to go first. I like sunshine. Your turn. I like trees. I like dancing in the breeze. I turn orange. I turn brown. I go sailing to the ground. I am crispy. I can crunch. I get raked up in the bunch. Okay, I saw a lot of sight words. Oh, because our brain is firing like crazy and we are getting so smart. Remember, I told you we're the smartest kindergartners. It's true. We already know this word. What's that word? Yep, I. We already know this word. What's that word? Like, L-I-K-E, like, absolutely. 
we already are learning this word today, G-O, go. We know this word, C-A-N, can. Oh gosh, so smart. All right, we're gonna do it one more time. No, my turn, your turn this time, okay? A fall of colors. I like sunshine, I like trees. I like dancing in the breeze. I turn orange, I turn brown. I go sailing to the ground. I am crispy, I can crunch. I get raked up in the bunch. All right, that is our new one for fall. All right, you guys, we're headed over. Do, 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 do. We're headed over this way. We gotta work on our sight word. Everybody say G-O, go. Good. Okay, I'm gonna see how much I can see. Get just looking right there. Please take out your sight word packet. I'm gonna go shut my lights off. Get your pen or your pencil, whatever you're deciding to use, whichever tool you want. It'll come right there, okay? I am gonna use my pen. Good, that looks good. Okay, so start with your name at the top. Don't write my name, write your name, right? Good, okay. What's our word today? Go, that's right, all right. Let's start it. Trace, 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 and then you gotta fill in the letters and we're gonna write a sentence. So there we go, there we go. G-O, go, G-O, go, G-O, go, G-O, go. Good, I hear you. Good, G-O, go, I love it, good. The word is go, G-O, go. G O go. G O go. G O go. G O go. Good. Pause it here if you need a couple of extra minutes. I'm going to move on to our sentence. All right. So the sentence starts out I go to the store. So we're tracing our word I, finger space, go, finger space, to, finger space. You're writing the word the, which we already know, the, I go to the, finger space, st, or, and don't forget your period. I go to the store. Please read. I go to the store. Remember, we already know a lot of these words, okay? So we have that confidence in us. We already know that part. All right, you're gonna get to color the word go, G-O, go. And what are you gonna draw right here? Yep, you're drawing a store, you got it. You can draw a Target, you can draw a Walmart, you can draw Safeway, wherever your family likes to shop. All right, pause here if you wanna do this now or you can finish it later. Okay, I wanna read you our sight words real quick. And I actually have a story for you that I forgot to read. I put it right by the calendar and I forgot. So I'm gonna go and grab it. But before we do that, we are going to do our sight words real quick. Let me bring you down here. Hi. All right. There we go. Hi. What's our word? Yep. G-O, go. Okay. All right. The sight word we learned today is go, 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 go. Looks like this. Go, go, go. G-O, go. All right. Let's, let's quickly go through our other sight words that we've learned, okay? Here we go. We're read, spell, read, okay? We, W-E, we. Go, G-O, go. Like, L-I-K-E, like. Go, G-O, go. I, I, I. Go, G-O, go. The, T-H-E, the. Go, 
G-O, go. What is our word today? Go, G-O, go. Good. All right, got more words for you next week. Smarties. All right, I have a story for you. 10 little pumpkins, and look at that. Ooh la la. You know we love some sparkles in this classroom, right? Oh my gosh, look at this. Okay, so 10 little pumpkins is my title. That's my cover. Look at my back cover. I'm opening it and look what I see. That's not my title page. It doesn't have the information. Here is my title page. 10 Little Pumpkins, written by Rosie Greening, illustrated by Lara Eady. Now, illustrator is the person who drew the pictures, right? And it's written by, it's authored by Rosie uh, Greening. So here we go, 10 Little Pumpkins. Ten little pumpkins are growing in a line. Then a farmer picks one up and that leaves how many? If you have ten and you take away one, you have nine. Nine little pumpkins bouncing in a crate. One decides to bounce away and that leaves eight little pumpkins in a bumpy hayride heaven. A pony carries one away, and that leaves seven little pumpkins doing magic tricks. Then one disappears, and that leaves six little pumpkins going for a drive. One jumps out to trick or treat, and that leaves Five little pumpkins grinning in the store. Then a big black cat buys one and that leaves four little pumpkins as happy as can be. Then a spooky ghost grabs one and that leaves <clears throat> three little pumpkins playing peekaboo. One's found a pair of bats and that leaves Two little pumpkins having lots of fun. A skeleton, a skeleton takes one away and that leaves one little pumpkin smiling by himself. Point to who you think is going to take him off the shelf. Who do you think it's gonna be? Is it gonna be the pirate, the superhero, the fairy? Ten little pumpkins make such a perfect scene, glowing all together the night of Halloween. I know you guys are all getting excited. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten little pumpkins. The story of ten little pumpkins. Good. Okay. I'm going to turn you back this way. I am going to have you get out your number boot camp. Say number boot camp. Good. I want you to turn to page 16, please. Looks like this. A one and a six. That's one group of six. I mean, sorry, one group of 10 and six more. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to write the word 16. So that's S. I-X-T-E-E-N. Okay, we're going to go right down here and we're going to draw our dots. Remember rows of five, nice and neat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15 and one more is 16. Okay, over here for tally marks, please feel free to pause whenever you need to. I know I'm going fast. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. You can draw apples or you can draw a different shape. Just make sure that they are nice and neat and organized, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16, 16, 16 everywhere. Thank you. All right, you can set that one to the side. Thank you very much. Alrighty, I would like you to have out your three dash seven. You know, sometimes we do not do the front cover. Today's one of those days, so I want you to just open it up like this. We're gonna need three dash seven, and we're also gonna need the topic three reteach. Okay, so be sure those both of those are ready to go. This right here. We are looking for what comes next in the pattern. So we are going to be going up one each time or down one each time. So this is one, one, two, good. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Which one will come next, you guys? You got it, five. So which one is five? One, two, three, four. Nope. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Circle the group that comes next and write the number up top. Remember, Mrs. Miramontes always wants you to do a little bit extra because that'll keep your brain a little bit smarter, right? So I want you, our extra part in the math today is to write above each row how many. So one, two, three, Four. Does four come after four or does five come after four? Five. Write your number and do a big oval around the group, okay? Moving on to here. We're going to count. These are cute little puppies, huh? See those little puppies? Here we go. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Does three come after three? No. One, two, three, four. Does four come after three? Yes. Draw an oval. One, two, three, four is the group that comes next in our pattern, right? Good. All right. Let's move over here. We are looking at party hats, okay? We're going to write the number over here. How many are in this row? One. One, two, how many are here? Two. One, two, three. Three. One, two, three, four. Four. It's our turn to make a row. How many are we gonna make? One, two, three, four, five. You got it. One, two, three, four, five. Good, if you did that right, give yourself a happy face. Good job. Okay, moving over here. I see oranges, let's count and write our numbers, okay? And then we gotta figure out which one comes next. One, one, two, two, one, two, three, three. What comes next? Good, four, make your four. One, two, three, four. Very nice. Good job. All finished. Thank you very much. One more to do. Pause it here and take a break. Pause it here and take a break, friends. Okay. We are going to write the numbers. Six, seven, eight, nine. This is a reteach, kind of like a review, perfect for a Friday. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is it right? Perfect. Oh, look at little turtles. Remember we did our directed draw on turtles? Please count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a seven. Good, okay. Let's count our beach balls and we're gonna write the number right on the line below. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What do we write? Yep, seven. Good. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Remember to start your numbers at the top. Okay. Ooh, let's double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sorry, you guys. There's an eight. Yep. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's a nine. One a little after this. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Make your nine. Starting at the top, all the way down, right? Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Great. Okay, turn it over. All right, we are gonna circle the one that comes next in the pattern. So just like we did on the first one, here we go. This is one, two, three, four, what comes next? Five, one, two, three, four, nope. One, two, three, four, five, and circle the group. Because we're doing what comes next in the pattern. One, two, three, four, five. Good. One. One, two. One, two, three. What comes next? One, two, three. Nope. One, two, three, four. Yep. What comes next in the pattern? It's going up by one. One. And two. One, two, three. What comes next, you guys? Yes, four, okay. One, two, three, four, and circle that group. Beautiful. One, one, two, one, two, three. What comes next? Four, that's right. One, two, three, nope. One, two, three, four. You got it. Excellent. Finished. All finished. Good, you guys. All right. Good. Be sure you clean up your workspace. Don't leave it for anyone else in your family to do. No, no, no. Got to clean up after yourself, right? Just like if we were in the classroom, I would be making sure you're cleaning up after yourself. All right. We got one more thing to do, and then we're done. Donezo. Go, G-O, go. We, W-E, we. Like, L-I-K-E, like. I, 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 the, T-H-E, the, and our word of the day, go, G, O, go. All right, it's a Friday. There will be some things up for you on Seesaw. I would like you to be sure that you did everything today. Um, we So let's talk about what we did. We did our calendar. We read a story, we did our apple tree, we did a new fall poem, right? We talked about our sight words. We had a new sight word, G-O, go, yes. Um, 10 Little Pumpkins we read. We did our page 16 in our alphabet boot camp. Yes, ma'am. We did our math two sheets, the regular worksheet and the reteach page. So we are finished. We're all done, right? Okay. So we're all done. I will see you on Monday. Remember Monday is a short class and then you have your uh, choice board that we worked on for you. So you've got that going on Monday. I'll see you at 825 on Monday for our little short class. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Go hug your families. I'll talk with you later. Adios. Goodbye.